Hi guys, Sci-Fi Recapped here. Before we start, warning. Spoilers ahead. Today, I'm gonna explain a Hong Kong, Chinese fantasy movie, called League of Gods. During the reign of King Zhou, an official enters his bedchamber. Because he disturbs King Zhou, he is instantly devoured by the monstrous tales of Daji, his concubine. She is a demon fox who disguises one of Zhou's concubines. Outside their city, Several warriors of the Wing Adept tribe led by Ji Lei in a metal wagon discuss their strategies to free the Invisible People tribe and their chief, Siro who have been kidnapped by King Zhou. After a while, Zhang Zia appears to them. Then he tells them that when King Zhou was younger, he allowed himself to be possessed by the Black Dragon because of his ambition to rule the world. The Black Dragon will attack when the three suns converge. Therefore, darkness will cover the world. Within the city, King Zhou and Da Ji held a festival. They decide to torture the chief Ciro of the invisible people who can predict the future using his eyes. The chief is forced to show King Zhou a vision of himself pleading for mercy and disintegrating away. Unable to accept his future, the king immediately orders his guards to remove the chief's eyes. At the same time, the warriors are sneaking into the prison where the invisible people are located. They eventually fight several guards guarding the prison. After the fight, Ji Lei is forced to use his powers to destroy the metal bars that seal the invisible people tribe, even though he was warned earlier not to use them in the city. Because of it, his powers attract the attention of a general named Shen Gong Bao aka General Leopard. He then rides on his Black Leopard to pursue them. Unfortunately, several of the invisible people are suddenly killed by more guards. Nonetheless, the warriors manage to escape with the invisible children who use their powers to teleport to another location. At the same time, Zhang Zia arrives at the festival and his powers cause the time to stop but King Zhou is not affected by his powers. Meanwhile, the group manages to arrive at the sewer. Just as they are about to continue their escape, General Leopard appears behind them. To stop him from advancing any further, Ji Lei and his friend, Ji Fa destroy a wall and create a barrier using their powers. After they finish escorting the invisible people to escape, Ji Lei and Ji Fa decide to go back inside and save the chief. Back to the festival, it is revealed that Da Ji is also not affected by the stopping time. Thus, she quietly sends his monstrous tales to Jiang Zia. As he avoids Da Ji's tales, unfortunately she casts a magic spell at him which reverses his age. Knowing that he is in danger, the chief deliberately digs out his left eye and throws it towards Da Ji to distract her, but then he gets destroyed by her tales instead. Not long after, Ji Lei and Ji Fa also come to help Jiang Zia, but because Da Ji's power is too strong, they cannot do much. Finally, they are able to escape with one of the chief's eyes, while the other eye is obtained by Da Ji. Afterwards, they return to their capital. Their king, Ji Chang requests Zhang Zia to use the chief's eye to find a way to defeat King Zhou and the Black Dragon. From the chief's eye, Zhang Zia answers that it is by using a sword known as the Sword of Light, which can only be used by the chosen hero Golden Dragon. Besides that, they must find the sword before the three suns converge, in which the Black Dragon will be released. In the meantime, Jiang Zia becomes younger as he warned previously that Da Ji cast a spell on him that reverses his age. For each time he uses his magic, the reverse aging accelerates simultaneously. On the other side, King Zhou and his subordinates also know the same thing because Da Ji has obtained one of the chief's eyes. The next morning, he is pensive on the cliff because he is the only one who does not have wings out of all the Wing Adept tribe members. With the support of his friends below, he immediately jumps from the top of the cliff to grow his wings. Unfortunately, he still cannot grow his wings either. He then meets Jiang Zia who shows him a map where the Sword of Light is located. Jiang Zia tells him that he must take three gifts from the Spring of Life with him. He also summons an egg from the well, from which a little boy called Nija hatches and causes mischief. Meanwhile, General Leopard constructs and animates a wooden doll and he names her as Landai. She is instructed to find and kill Ji Lei as her main mission. Ji Lei and Nija depart into a wasteland, Turns out that the first of Jiang Zia's gifts is a one-eyed plant who gives Ji Lei some advices. It can be seen that Ni Jia enjoys playing with the plant, while suddenly the three are chased by a legendary desert centipede-like worm. Long story short, Ji Lei is able to kill the monster. After that, Ni Jia secretly steals from Ji Lei the second gift which is a baby dragon prince whose growth was stunted by him. Surprisingly, it subdues the quickly grown Ni Jia by breathing a gas on him, making him unconscious while turning him into an adult. Upon waking, Ji Lei forces him to help him find the Sword of Light. At first he refuses to help Ji Lei finding the sword, but then he finally agrees after Ji Lei promises to help him to find his legendary weapon, the Fire Wheels. 
They continue on their journey until they arrive into a collection of pillars within a marsh, which turn into a palace in a desert. Not far from them, there is a hermit manipulates sand with his magic chicken. Annoyed that Nija suddenly bothers him, the hermit immediately attacks them, but later he is defeated. The hermit is revealed to be Erlangshan. Afterwards, Ji Lei gives him the third of Jiang Zia's gifts which is his faithful dog Howling Celestial. He then leaves them behind to continue the search for his golden father. At night, they travel to a port where they encounter Landai who is entertaining the children around with glowing butterflies. Ji Lei is attracted to her beauty, but she decides to leave him after getting acquainted for a while because she immediately sends all the information she got to General Leopard. Meanwhile, Ji Lei finds a sorceress named Tai Yi Zenren. Unluckily, she immediately uses Ji Lei's dreams to read into his mind. After being woken by the plant, Ji Lei tries to steal the artifact that they use as a ship to sail out of the port. Suddenly, Lan Dai goes inside with her memories already lost because she just transferred all her memories to General Leopard. Therefore, she is asking about the artifact, causing Tai Yi to wake up and directly attack them with her power just as they are about to steal the artifact. They manage to run away using the artifact which turns into a ship. It is supposed to sail to any location that its user desires. While on the ship, Nija torments the baby dragon prince. Consequently, it breathes gas on him again to put him to sleep and reverting him back to a child. At that moment, Lan Dai explains to Ji Lei that she knows about the Sword of Light because she could read his mind. Shortly after, General Leopard suddenly takes her memory again, causing her to faint. Because of his sympathy, Ji Lei breaks the flow of memories that are coming out from her head, making General Leopard even angrier. The next day, Ji Lei wonders why the ship is going to the middle of the ocean. The plan immediately answers that it is because the baby dragon prince has controlled the ship to his father's territory. As the dragon prince sings, the dragon king of the East Sea hears him and orders his giant monster straight away to bring Ni Jia and his son back to him. On the other hand, Ji Lei cannot help Ni Jia because it is his own problem. While in the sea palace, Ni Jia demands the dragon king to return his fire wheels to him. The dragon king orders his guards to attack him, but he defeats the guards by urinating and passing gas at them. At the end, the Dragon King surrenders by giving him the fire wheels. He also gives the Dragon Prince in exchange. With his legendary weapon, Nija turns into an adult and flies away back to the ship. The ship is now able to fly to Ji Lei's former home, which is now in ruins. It is revealed that his father was killed by an invading army of King Zhou who exterminated most of the wing adepts, and his father's wings were torn off his back. Later, he is able to find the Sword of Light, which is guarded by several rapidly moving rings that surround its floating island. After that, General Leopard suddenly arrives with a fleet of flying ships to steal the sword. He eventually manages to subdue Ji Lei. In exchange for Ji Lei's life, Lan Dai overcomes the rapid rings and retrieves the sword as soon as possible, but it inadvertently destroys the rings and blows General Leopard and his fleet away. In that precarious situation, he is finally able to grow his new wings and carries the dying land die to see the sunset. She turns into a wooden mannequin, and he leaves her to rest at the island, while taking the sword with him. As he notices the sun beginning to converge, he goes back to the capital with Ni Jia and Erlang Shen who has found his golden father. On the other hand, the capital is now under siege by King Zhou's army as Jiang Zia struggles to use the city's defense system properly because he starts to forget about it, which is the effect of the reverse aging. Meanwhile, Taiji uses her magic power to revive General Leopard, which turns him into a horrible monster. The three heroes return with the Sword of Light to find Jiang Zia being reverted to a young boy. After a moment, they fight the horrible General Leopard, who during the fight kills Ji Chang in the end. Because of this, Jiang Zia is left unprotected, and he meets Taiji's tail. With Ji Chang's dying condition, he passes his command and the sword to Ji Fa. He then rushes to the spring of life and dives in to charge the sword as the others distract the monster. Soon, Ji Fa emerges as the golden dragon with his new charged sword and kills General Leopard immediately. The movie ends with Ji Fa mobilizing his forces for a counter-attack and flying his fortress towards the King Zhou's kingdom. At that time, King Zhou has turned into the black dragon waiting for the heroes to attack. It can be seen that there is baby Jiang Zia in their possession. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.